Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. We're in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out in November. Check out this show. It's absolutely amazing. And with that, I'm with Dave. Dave, say your last name for me. Marchione. Marchione. And I'm going to go right to the camera. Dave, tell me what company you work with. I'm the automotive curator for the Detroit Historical Society. And let me just, while we're talking about that, what did you bring? Well, we brought some really cool prototypes out for the show this year. Uh, the one we're looking at now is the 1965 Bourdain Cobra II. My first reaction is, what? I mean, where does this come from? How does this happen? Give us some stats and details. Uh, it's a really, it's a cool car. It's the, it's kind of the ugly stepsister of the Cobra II, the Cougar II, which is, which did the show circuit and people saw. Uh, this one was much more a styling prototype. And it really didn't need Dearborn once they designed it. It's built on a Cobra chassis like its sister was. Uh, this car is actually CSX 3001. Oh, the really? very first coilover car. Uh, it was originally a 289 car. And they wanted a running and driving prototype, and they thought the easiest way to do that would be to, to take the Cobra chassis and build this body on top. So Cobra chassis, there's we featured that car. You can see the divots in the hood there. We've got the venting all the way up the hood there. Let's show this car from the side. It's rare in a styling, a pair of styling cars like this that they would be identical. Uh, generally, they try they tried out different aspects of it. Uh, the body lines are basically the same, but if you look, the rear end of it has a point to it. Uh, this one is flat. Uh, the badging is different. The interior has some different cues to it. They're close. You can see they you can see how they're related, but it's not the same car. Obviously, one is a coupe. One is clearly a convertible. We have the uh, same styling spokes. And if I'm seeing this correct, I'm seeing discs. Yeah, it's a four-wheel disc car with the real Barani knockoff wheels like the Cobras would have come with. And for clarity as well, this, this car does not have a functional engine, so it is clearly just a prototype show car. Correct. The theory was to make it a runner and driver, uh, but the way the, the foot box is pulled forward, uh, there's not enough room for it to clear the engine. So what started out as a running and driving prototype quickly became uh, strictly a prototype. Okay. The XD Cobra. Any idea what the XD stands for? Just a model, model designation. There okay. usually wasn't anything more to it than that. And just to show the difference in the rear ends, clearly we have a different rear end there. Yeah, the Cougar has a seam, uh, whereas the XD has a big flat rear we got the obviously the gas goes in here, and since it's a top that has no top, it's convertible, we don't have to open up any doors in this one. So now how does your museum get this museum piece? Uh, these cars were donated by Ford to the museum in 1985, uh, they've been in our collection since. Uh, we've had them out for a couple events. It's rare that we're able to take both of them out together. So seeing them here as a pair is kind of unique. And we've shown each one not only individually, but we're showing the details of each one highly extensive. Now, did the, I don't know this. Did the Cobras have radios in them at the time? The Shelby's no. Because this looks very yeah, Shelby-like. That's a corporate Ford radio. I mean, it would have been the same as a Mustang. Yeah, I mean this, but it has all the flavor of the Cobra. Yeah, you can see, you know, the it's got the, the bucket seats. Uh, the the con center console is representative of the Falcon and the Fairlane. It's corporate. The, the games are largely after the Mr. Yeah, no mirrors on it. Nope. No wipers. If you look at, well, it had wipers, it doesn't have now. Okay. But if you look at prototypes or drawings, generally they don't have door handles or mirrors. Yeah. It's it's strictly about the line of the car. And we've got uh, we've got a little different door curve on the two. Clearly the hoods are different. Yeah, the doors, because it's a roadster, the doors are flush on the top of this one. Uh, that one does, the Cobra doesn't have the cowl, the cowl vents that the Cougar does, but it has the long louver section down the center of the hood. And you were sharing, here's the actual frame of this car, which is a Cobra frame. Yep, they purchased the Cobras and sent them to uh, DTF, DST, Detroit, Stamp, Detroit Steel Tube. 
Oh, we're Dearborn steel tubing. They stripped the aluminum bodies, which the Cobras came with off the car, and used that platform that you see in the picture to build that car. And that's the car, the car actually inside the Dearborn proving ground. Where they would roll them out of design and take pictures of them, and then use that to blow them up and diagnose what they liked and what they didn't like. To those specifications. Dave, stay right next to the car, would you? Sure. What a fun job seeing these super cool cars. And thanks so much for bringing both of them out to the Muscle Car and Corvette National so people can enjoy them. What a treat. Thanks for being on my car store. Absolutely. I'm excited to have the cars out. Thank you. Sure.